What it do? Leo here. Today we're going to be watching Psalm 100. Now to give a little background for the story. I was initially enthralled with just the trailer alone. Just the trailer was hooked me in. It was like a guy and he said I hated work so much that a zombie apocalypse is the next best thing. And when I heard that, I immediately said, yep, watch. <laughs> so uh, let's just jump into it. That's all I know about the show thus far. I have no other um, prior background. I don't even know if it comes from a light novel or from manga or nothing. But looking forward to the show. Let's just jump into it. It looks awesome. Well, what's happening is horrible, but oh. Must have been the jugular or something. Oh. Is it one of those like where they run super fast like in The Walking Dead? Oh my, even the airplanes aren't safe. Oh, he's watching a show. Okay, okay, okay. So it hasn't happened yet. Dude, how much of a black company was he working for where he thinks that a zombie apocalypse is, like, better than having to go to work again, you know? Like, it must have been, like, corrupt beyond corrupt. Like, unpaid overtime, we're talking mistreatment, we're talking overrun, deadlines, impossible tasks. Must have been the whole nine yards and back. Not to prejudge someone, but that guy already looks like an asshole. Bright and spry, not burnt out. Looking at all the positives, didn't don't see any negatives at all yet since he just started. Yeah, full of dreams, hopes, and ambition. No, not a work based. No. Oh, that could be sticky. Don't do it to yourself, bud. That's a sticky situation. You don't want to get involved in that. You don't want to get involved in that. There are exceptions, but a majority of the time, you don't work where you shit. You don't eat where you shit, you know? If you know what I mean. Balancing work and relationships and putting them together is not the best. There are exceptions, and I know a few exceptions, but in general. <laughs> is school prestige really a big thing? From my experience, it, it's not really... But uh, there might be some professions where it's super important. Damn, rugby player, huh?
Rugby player, huh? Damn. Wonder what position. What? They're all working overtime. Ah, so this got to be illegal, dude. It's got to be illegal. You can't even keep me in my in my workplace for more than 30 minutes past. Is this a thing that happens in Japan? Is, is that a thing that happens in like other companies specifically? I would really love to know just how crazy it can get in terms of work schedules and stuff like that cuz this is corrupt. This is like borderline life threatening, life reducing type work. There it is. Six o'clock. Well, yeah, didn't you like eat ramen at four in the morning? So you had like two hours. Do you have a social life? Do you have. Any way to put your put any hobbies or even leisure of any sort? Like, there's no time, dude. That's crazy. You shouldn't. You definitely shouldn't. Like, even in even in school, they don't let us do this. Even in school, they tell us to go home after five, my guy. Seven at the latest. They don't do all nighters. Why? Why isn't nobody using them? That's not good natured competition. That is exploitation. Bragging about how much unpaid overtime you do? That is depression. You know what I like to talk about? I like to talk about what I did during my vacation. I like to talk about the hobbies that I fulfilled during my off days. Not how much overtime I'm doing. The only time I see it fit is if it's necessary. A necessity. Guy makes 210,000 yen, but he can't spend a dime because he's spending the whole time in the office. That's crazy. Never, ever, never, ever let somebody shout at you, talk down to you, or anything like that. If you're working, you're a grown-ass adult. you talking like a grown-ass adult. Never let nobody do that to you. They're all gonna die before 40, man. Like, this is insane behavior. I'm, I'm so culture-shocked. Insane. Dude, last time I took a bath, that's mad. Crappy manager, 
exploitative manager, unfulfilled projects that he knows that can't be done, horrible behavior, negative perspective, negative leadership towards those he works with. Get out of here. I don't know if Otori is leaving the office early or if she's just using makeup to conceal her eye bags or whatever. Dude. Dude. What the frick, man? Dude, why didn't you quit in the first week? Why didn't you quit in the first day when they made you do unpaid overtime full night shift? Day shift and afternoon shift. There's worse? I would really love to know what's worse than this. He doesn't even recognize that he's smacked into a post off post box now. He spent three years? Three years! Oh my gosh! In that hellscape? End me now. Look at the folders in his fucking computer, just filled with projects of absolute dog shit. Oh my days. Dude. He's gonna jump off, man. He's gonna jump off, man. This is so eerie, man. Damn, he's not even aware enough. Can you not? I really want to know, like, why would he choose to keep entering this hell instead of, you know, um, working for a different company, quitting his job, moving to a different prefecture, moving to a different... <sighs> Well, how could you? How could you? You don't even know. You don't got a life because you put everything into the goddamn company. That's killing you. It's insane.
Oh. It's already happened. It's happened. It's happened. It's happened. It's happened. It's happened. It's happened. Bro, 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 bro. Get color. Get color. Shit's happening. Get out. Get out. Wow, this art this artistic style is interesting. Very interesting. You notice how it's all gray representing his current life and how the basically blood and body fluids and whatever they're all bringing color to his life. Insanely dark metaphor, but uh, I I mess with it. I mess with it heavy. I like this. Yellow. Oh no! It's it's a plane. It's explosions. Oh my. I guess not. All day! All day! <laughs> Ooh. He's riding an adrenaline high that I've never seen. Remember, he does have the rugby experience. There's life in his eyes. The bags are gone. There's color. I mean, I mean, there's zombies, but like, but fuck that company, straight up. I hope it burns in hell. <laughs> Bright red blood. <laughs> Dude, insane. You have all the time in the world. You can just ride one now. You just ride one, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Let's not let's not uh just binge and uh, become a neat. That would be great if we didn't do that. Let's actually live life to the fullest here. Man, your whole neighborhood zombies. You think all Tori is going to be fine? Wow. <laughs> I mean, I don't approve of this at all. I think it's completely stupid, but hey, <laughs> whatever floats your boat, my guy. I would have already been dead before I walked into the freaking apartment. <laughs> You stalked her? You stalk found her home? Mm. 
Yeah. I think this is an exception though. Can't believe she was hooking up with the manager, dude. That's so freaking weird, man. So weird. She's probably dead as hell. Oh. Well. Uh <laughs> He was he was mostly inexperienced in his awareness of his ability to understand just how fucked his career was. <laughs> that's what his that that's what his downfall was. It wasn't his hard working nature. It wasn't all that. It was his literal unawareness of how fucked his situation was. You should have left in the first week, first day, second day. Actually screw it. If you were a nice guy first day, do the all nighter. Cool. Second day, if it happens again, fuck it. Quit right there on the spot. Oh. <laughs> Splatted blood everywhere. Did he have fake hair? Well, you gotta kill her too, or or to go away. Tell your feelings and move on. Tell her how you feel, my guy. You did all this, you might as well. Wait, wait, don't let her, don't let her. Damn, you never fell in love with nobody in college, my guy? High school, you didn't have a high school crush, for sake? Seriously? You played all sports your whole life? You didn't have a single crush? Did he buy it or did he just steal it? <laughs> I guess it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Outwardly, though, looking at it, he's got the perfect build for this. For each. What does that say at the end? 100 things I want to do before becoming a zombie. <laughs> He's going to make a zombie bucket list.
He's gonna have a zombie life bucket list. All right, before I go, wait, let me just let the, I'll let the ED play through. Anyway, this was super interesting, super fun. I, I already liked the new character. I'm really pushing for him to succeed because of just how grueling we saw him go through. Three years, my guy. Three years. Sorry. Three years. I can't believe how much physical, mental toll it took on him. No holidays. No mental health days. All nighters. Insane. Horrible co-workers. Toxic work environment. Horrible manager. Tongue of the dad. Dystopia. Tongue of the dad. Dystopia. Mm. Is there anything at the end? Yes, there is. What we got? Okay, episode one, Zom 100. This is gonna be one of the big shows that I will be watching uh, this season. I'm probably um, attempting to watch at least a majority of them, but this one is by far one of the more exciting ones that I have to watch. Uh, so looking forward to every Sunday coming forward. Hopefully y'all join me in the next coming Sundays. Again, un uh, uncut, uh, full video with audio. Gonna be on the Patreon, so check it out over there if you got some time. And uh, yeah. I will see y'all in the next Sunday.